Sheikha Mara, the daughter of Dubai's ruler, and her husband, Sheikh Mana, had a love story that seemed like a fairy tale. But just one year after the wedding, they divorced in a massive scandal. How did Sheikh Amara break centuries-old Arab traditions? Why did she leave her husband? And what's next for her after the divorce? Everything you want to know about the Sheikha, who's become a new role model in the Arab world, is in this video. In July 2024, a scandal erupted in Dubai. The daughter of Dubai's ruler, Sheikha Mahara bint Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, divorced her husband, whom she married just a year ago. And she did it in the boldest way possible. She announced it on Instagram with this message. Dear husband, as you're occupied with other companions, I hereby declare our divorce. I divorce you, I divorce you, and I divorce you. Take care. Your ex-wife. In the Muslim world, there's a tradition called talaq. Traditionally, a man could divorce his wife by saying, I divorce you, three times. This practice symbolizes the end of the marriage. For centuries, only men could initiate a divorce this way. According to Islamic traditions, a woman can divorce her husband through a process called kula. To do this, she must go to court and justify her reasons for wanting a divorce, often based on serious issues like abuse or breach of marriage conditions. Sometimes, she may offer to return the mar, bridal gift, to her husband in exchange for the divorce. Sheikh Amara might have already taken her case to court, but we don't know all the details. But what's clear is that she made a bold move by writing, I divorce you, three times. A privilege traditionally reserved for men. What does this mean? Could Sheikh Amara be the woman who breaks down patriarchal norms? Could she become a new role model for women in the Arab world? Of course, conservatives are shocked by the actions of Dubai's ruler's daughter, but many people are thrilled by her courage and determination. And it seems her father didn't oppose her decision. We can say that Sheikh Mohammed Al Maktoum, Sheikh Amara's father, stood by her side and supported his daughter. Because soon after the divorce, Mahra wrote a thank you message to her father. Dear father, thank you for your support. Thank you for your love. Thank you for marking an era that justifies that there is justice for everyone. My respect and love. Why is Sheikh Amara allowed so much freedom in Dubai? Let's revisit her story and the moments when she broke stereotypes before. In a world where many women endure infidelity and even physical abuse, unable to find protection, the daughter of Dubai's ruler refused to tolerate her husband's behavior. She wasn't happy he spent time with other women and didn't accept it. Even though Sheikh Amara lives in a Muslim world where men can have multiple wives, she chose not to agree with what didn't sit right with her. This bold stance has earned her the admiration from women around the globe. Here's an example of a comment left under her Instagram post about the divorce. You are such an inspiration, I wish we could actually do that, instead of being humiliated in courts and having our arms twisted when we can't afford to support our kids as single mothers. I am lucky to be living in the UAE. At least the laws here are in favor of the wife. God bless you, and may Allah grant me strength and may justice prevail. But what does Sheikh Amara's behavior really mean? Is she granted privileges because she's the daughter of one of the most powerful men in the Middle East? Or does this signal the end of patriarchal times where women will gain more rights and freedoms? There's a lot to think about here. But first, let's look back at how Mahra grew up and what shaped her views and life. Sheikh Amara bint Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum was born on February 26, 1994, in Dubai, into one of the most powerful and influential families in the world. Her father, Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, is the ruler of Dubai and Prime Minister of the UAE, a man known for his visionary leadership and passion for modernizing Dubai. Her mother, Zoe Grigorakos, comes from a Greek family, adding a unique cultural influence to Mahra's upbringing. Sheikh Mohammed's marriage to Zoe was one of several unions, as he had multiple wives, a common practice in the region. However, unlike many of his other children, Sheikh Amara was raised in a more westernized and liberal environment due to her mother's Greek background. 
Growing up in this mixed cultural setting gave Mara more freedom than many of her half-siblings, allowing her to experience both the traditional values of her father's world and the more liberal, independent spirit of her mother's heritage. This blend of influences from her father's household's powerful and conservative environment to the more open and free-spirited atmosphere of her mother's Greek roots played a crucial role in shaping Mahra's personality. She grew up with the privilege and responsibilities of royalty and the independence and strength that came from her diverse upbringing. This unique combination would later influence her bold decisions as an adult, challenging traditions in ways few expected. Before Sheikh Amara became known by her current name and title, she was born as Christina, reflecting her mother's Greek heritage and Christian faith. She spent her early years in a different cultural environment, away from Dubai. Christina converted to Islam before moving to Dubai, where she adopted the name Mahra and embraced her father's cultural and religious background. Here's what Sheikh Amara told about her upbringing in an interview with Harper's Bazaar Arabia. My upbringing was deeply rooted in Greek culture by my mother, and as a result, I feel a strong sense of connection to it. Maintaining close ties with my family is a significant priority in my life, as it serves as a means to remain closely connected to my cultural heritage. I am fluent in the Greek language and make an effort to visit my homeland as frequently as my circumstances allow. Mahra received a high-quality education, likely attending prestigious institutions in the UAE and abroad. Her upbringing and schooling combined Eastern and Western influences, which have shaped her into the confident and independent woman she is today. Here's what Sheikh Amara said in Harper's Bazaar Arabia. I am fortunate to have been raised by both of my parents, each imparting their own unique cultural background and values. I am appreciative of the diversity in my upbringing and recognition the importance of unity and openness in shaping my perspective on life. Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum has a large family with at least 30 children, including many daughters from various marriages. However, not all of his relationships with his children have been smooth. Two of his daughters, Sheikha Shamsa and Sheikha Latifa, famously attempted to flee from Dubai, seeking more freedom. Their stories brought global attention to the challenges faced by women in royal families, even in such powerful households. In contrast to these strained relationships, Sheikha Mara has been given a more prominent and public role within the family. Unlike her sisters, Mara has become a recognized face in Dubai, frequently appearing at official events and engaging in philanthropic activities. After completing her education, she stepped into the spotlight, representing the family at various functions and supporting charitable causes. There are several reasons why Sheikh Mohammed might favor Mahra among his daughters. Her unique upbringing, her strong educational background, and perhaps her ability to navigate the complexities of both her father's world and her mother's heritage have positioned her as a symbol of modernity and tradition within the UAE. This blend of qualities may have earned her a special place in her father's eyes, allowing her to break barriers and challenge norms in ways others in the family have not. Sheikh Amara's Instagram clearly shows that she has a strong relationship with both of her parents, but she seems incredibly close to her mother. In many photos, mother and daughter look like best friends, sharing a love for fashion in beautiful places. Her mother, Zoe Grigorakos, has been by her side at all important events, including Mara's graduation and her wedding, which was the most significant event in Dubai in 2023. As soon as Sheikha Mahra moved to Dubai, she began to break stereotypes about Arab women. Unlike many of Sheikh Mohammed's daughters, who rarely, if ever, appear in public, Mahra became a frequent presence at numerous events. For instance, the public has never seen a photo of Sheikh Mohammed's senior wife, and her appearance remains a mystery. Mahra's active participation in Dubai's public life likely showcases the UAE as a modern, progressive country, where women are as involved in societal affairs as men. Her Greek roots made her an ideal candidate for this role, bridging the gap between Eastern traditions and Western expectations. 
Mahra's visibility is not just about her personal presence. It's a strategic move to present the UAE as a forward-thinking nation on the global stage. Her involvement in public events and her role as a modern Arab woman has set her apart, marking her as a symbol of progress and change in a region deeply rooted in tradition. Here's another surprising fact that's quite unusual for the Arab world. Sheikh Amara has started openly sharing news about her personal life. In the Muslim world, people usually keep their private lives very guarded. For example, Sheikh Hamdan, the son of Dubai's ruler, has never even shown his wife to the public. But Sheikha Mahra has taken a different path, openly sharing what's happening in her life on social media. One big reveal was her engagement to Sheikh Mana Al Al Maktoum. He's an Emirati businessman known for his business acumen and wealth, making him an ideal match for Sheikh Amara. He comes from a well-established family and has been involved in various successful ventures, contributing to his fortune. A well-known entrepreneur, Sheikh Mana has been the driving force behind multiple companies and commercial initiatives, including Alberata Trading, Dubai Tech, GCI Real Estate Development Company, and MM Group of Companies. Their union was seen as a perfect blend of tradition and modernity, with both families holding significant influence in the UAE. So their wedding was spectacular, a lavish affair with all of Dubai talking. Traditionally, Muslim brides wear modest, often elaborately embroidered dresses, sometimes in vibrant colors, with their heads covered. But true to her style, Sheikh Amara broke the mold once again. She chose to wear a classic white gown in the Western style, stunningly elegant and completely non-traditional for a Muslim bride. The dress featured intricate lacework and a long, flowing train, exuding grace and modernity. In another departure from tradition, where Muslim weddings usually have the bride and groom celebrating separately, Sheikh Amara and Sheikh Mana celebrated together, taking photos and enjoying the festivities side by side. This choice was symbolic, reflecting a more modern approach to marriage, blending tradition with the couple's preferences. Their wedding wasn't just a celebration of their love, it was a statement of how the new generation in the UAE is embracing both their heritage and the global influences around them. After their spectacular wedding, Sheikh Amara and Sheikh Mana quickly became the darlings of the social scene. The couple didn't shy away from the public eye, but openly shared glimpses of their love and life. They went on a romantic getaway, which was widely covered by the media. Sheikh Amara and Sheikh Mana enjoyed a romantic honeymoon in Mykonos, Greece. Spending their honeymoon in Mara's homeland was symbolic. She wanted to show her husband her favorite places in the country where she grew up. They shared beautiful moments from their getaway, including photos of themselves jet skiing and exploring the island. The couple appeared to be in high spirits, embracing the thrill of water sports and the serene beauty of Mykonos. With its pristine beaches, stunning Aegean sea views, and charming whitewashed architecture, Mykonos was the perfect destination to unwind and celebrate their new life together, away from the public eye. After this trip, the couple enjoyed a short getaway to the British countryside, where they celebrated Sheikh Mana's 25th birthday. They ended the year on a high note by traveling to the snowy French village of Courchevel, where they indulged in sporty activities and took in the stunning mountainous landscapes of the Alps. Additionally, the couple attended cultural events, such as a performance of the Phantom of the Opera at the Dubai Opera, showcasing their shared love for the arts. These outings reflected their deep bond and commitment to experiencing life's joys together as a modern royal couple. In photos, they appeared as the picture-perfect couple elegant, happy, and deeply in love. Whether attending events in Dubai or enjoying time together abroad, they consistently looked stunning, capturing the admiration of many. Their public displays of affection and togetherness marked a significant shift in how royal couples in the UAE are perceived, blending tradition with a modern, more open approach to marriage. Shortly after their wedding, Sheikha Mahra made a surprising announcement. She was expecting a baby. She shared an ultrasound image on social media with the caption, just the three of us, breaking cultural norms, as such personal moments are usually kept private in the Muslim world. 
Furthermore, before the baby's birth, Sheikh Amara hosted a gender reveal party, announcing she was expecting a girl, a tradition borrowed from the West. This bold move highlighted her ongoing challenge to traditional expectations. While many women choose to stay home during pregnancy, Sheikh Amara continued her active public life, attending events and fulfilling her duties. Despite her condition, she remained a visible and influential figure, challenging traditional expectations for pregnant women in the Muslim world. Her decision to stay engaged in public life during this time further highlighted her commitment to redefining the role of women in her society, balancing her responsibilities with grace and determination. In February 2024, while still pregnant, Sheikh Amara and her husband, Sheikh Mana, celebrated Valentine's Day, a holiday rooted in Western tradition and not typically observed by Muslims. But for the couple, it was a perfect opportunity to express their love for each other. They enjoyed a romantic evening with breathtaking views of the Dubai skyline, a saxophone serenade to careless whisper, and a candle-lit dinner in a secluded spot, possibly near a dress Dubai mall or Nazca. This beautiful and intimate celebration showed everyone that their marriage was not arranged, but founded on true love. On May 1st, 2024, Sheikh Amara gave birth to her daughter, whom she named Mahra. In a surprising and bold move, she shared intimate photos from the delivery room on Instagram. The images showed the special moment, including Sheikh Mana, the proud father, who was right by her side, supporting her through the process. Many were amazed at how caring and involved Sheikh Mana was, as few men are comfortable witnessing the problematic process of childbirth. He rose above all prejudices, demonstrating his deep love and commitment to his wife. The marriage of Sheikh Amara and Sheikh Mana was admired by many, a seemingly perfect couple, deeply in love. So it came as a shock when, just a few months later, Mahra announced their divorce. The apparent reason was Sheikh Mana's time spent with other women. This was unacceptable for Mahra, who wanted to be the only love in her husband's life. Despite the initial happiness, this issue became too significant to overlook, leading to their marriage's unexpected and dramatic end. After the divorce, Sheikh Amara retained custody of her daughter, and she often shares photos of the little one on her blog, frequently captioned with the phrase, my everything. This is quite different from the situation many women in the Muslim world face, where they are often forced to leave their children with their husbands after a divorce. This injustice keeps many women from seeking a divorce, even in the worst circumstances. But not Sheikh Amara. She maintained her right to raise her daughter and kept all her privileges in Dubai. She continues to attend various events, remaining an influential figure. According to Islamic traditions, after observing a waiting period known as Idda for three months, she would be allowed to remarry. So after the divorce, not much will change in Sheikh Amara's life. She will continue to be happy with her daughter, and perhaps she might meet a new husband. But what about Sheikh Mana? After the divorce, he left Dubai and now spends time in London. It seems he's become persona non grata in Dubai. Will the ruling family ever forgive him? Will he be able to return to Dubai? It's uncertain, but he's likely to lose a lot after divorcing the ruler's daughter. Sheikh Amahra's story has become an inspiring example for many women on how to stand up for their rights in the Arab world. Realizing that her husband was not the person she wanted to spend her life with, she bravely chose to move on without him, undeterred by judgment or criticism. Now she can focus on raising her beloved daughter and continuing her charitable projects. With her beauty and youth, there's no doubt she'll meet someone new in the future. Did you feel sad about their split or see it coming? Share your thoughts in the comments and thank you for watching.